Hello. Hello, hello. I am just getting everything set up over here. So forgive me if I don't see you come in right away. <coughs> Let's make sure, yay, we're showing live. That's awesome, that's always a good thing. Hi Jeannie, how are you? Colleen and I are together again on a Friday night to chalk. It's just like the summertime. Okay, just posting in my site. Pin it. Okay, so my website is pinned in the comments below. We've got got something drying here. I hope you're still there. Of course, I got a phone call and in the middle of doing this. That's always seems to be the way. No phone calls the whole time, and then all of a sudden I get one. <laughs> Um, so hello. Hi, Cheryl. How are you? Hi, Nancy. They did not come back in stock today, Nancy. I'm so sorry. It looks like they're going. They were supposed to be the first week in November, and then we got an update, and they said, oh, they're going to be, it's going to be, um, today, and then they quickly retracted that and said, whoops, we made a mistake on the alert that we sent out. So, I am. I'm feeling much better tonight, Jeannie. I'm very sore, but I'm feeling much better. Hello, Lindsay. Hello, Tina. Hello, Linda. Um, so, tonight, I want to show you a fun project that I am going to be working on here. And I'm hoping I can find... I literally had sandpaper a second ago, and I don't know what I did with it, so... I'll just have to be really careful. So tonight I'm going to make a Pinterest special that um, it's, I'm going to call it a Pinterest special, but it's actually a friend special. Um, my girlfriend Susan had created this board um, and I'm sure, I mean, I'm sure she got it from Pinterest. I don't really know, but um, I want to make sure that I give her the credit because I got the idea from her. I read the L. So tonight, we are going to do Enjoy the Little Things. And right here, I don't know if you can see, I made a little itty bitty pinhole, which I might move over a little more to maybe right here. And I've got these little C hooks. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see this. Little teeny tiny thing. Um, and I am going to be screwing it into my board. So I can go ahead and hang, yeah, this is dry now. Well, it's pretty dry. My mason jar that all I did was paint in flat white and I'm gonna sand it down, hi Sally. And we're gonna tie some jute, okay, around it and hang it from the sea hook. And then we'll be able to stick, where are my flowers? Some flowers in, okay, and we can have it hanging. Um, these are like super fun signs that I have seen and I was always like, mm, maybe I'll try it. And I thought, well, what the heck, let's do it tonight. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to find another piece of sandpaper though, because, oh, here we go. I got my sandy block. I'll use that instead. Um, because it's got blue all over it and we're going to need that for our mason jar. So, hi, Cal. So let's go ahead and get started, huh? So let me tell you some things real quick first before we get going. First of all, first and foremost, if you guys would hit the little share button on the bottom left-hand side of your, hi Christina, um, of your mobile device if you're watching and share my video, I would truly appreciate it. It's a very big honor if you do that for me. Um, so let's talk that it is October 27th, which means there are, let's talk chalk, hi Kevin. Um, that was little brand, by the way. Um, that's a cute name, Colleen. Let's talk chalk. Um, <laughs> that should be our Friday night go-to. Let's talk chalk. Um, that was so my, this my blog thing was uh, talking chalk, chalk talk. Chalk talk, love it. Um, so let's talk about the Rocktober special that is going to be over in five days. No, four days. We have Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and the rest of tonight to go ahead and get your hands on this amazing bundle. It is six chalk paste for the price of five. So you're paying $44.95. You're saving $8.99. You'll get orange mustard evergreen 
plum, brick, and cocoa. They are fantastic colors for um, all of the holidays we have coming up. Um, you could easily use the brick, the evergreen, and the plum for, for Christmas. You can use the orange, the mustard, the cocoa. You can use all of these for fall and Thanksgiving. Um, I actually will show you a quickie project I did today um, with Tanya. We did a joint live. Um, and I just made a quick placemat, a um, little paper placemat to go over a charger for your Thanksgiving dinner. And this was also with Rocktober Colors. Hi, Lisa. I'll see you tomorrow, girlfriend. Um, so I used plum and the mustard and the evergreen on this. And look how pretty it turned out. And it'll just be a little something extra that you can add to your Thanksgiving table, right? How fun. Um, so here's the crazy thing. Um, hi there. And yes, no problem, Nancy. Don't you worry. You are on my list to alert the second this stuff comes in. So if you have not gotten your hands on Rocktober, guys, I would strongly suggest you grab it before it sells out before the end of the month, okay? So tonight, like I said, we're going to be doing, let me get it back up here. Oh, oh I hurt so bad. My nose is killing me. <laughs> tonight we're going to be doing the... Enjoy the little things on this board. Now, what I want to do, like I said, I'm thinking I want to move where I put the little dot um, to screw in my little hook. I think I'm going to move it down even a little bit. So I'm going to put enjoy the little things over here. Hi, Amy. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Mel. Um, I'm going to just screw this in um, with my finger. And um, that should be good. You know what I'll do? I'm actually going to wait until I, I get the transfer on, and then I'll be able to figure out. Hi, Colleen. How are you? Hi. <laughs> There's two Colleen's then. Uh, that was me. Oh, that was you? <laughs> Sorry. That's so funny. I was going through all my own. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. You're good. You're good. You're good. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> now, I wanted to do the Enjoy the Little Things. Can I ask you a huge favor? What's your favorite? Can you just make sure that Enjoy the Little Things is available right now? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Because I, I can't remember if I wanted to do Enjoy the Little Things or the, um, the Being Thankful for What You Have Makes What You Have Enough one. So I'm thinking I'm going to do Enjoy the Little Things because I think it'll be perfect here. Hi, Luann. We have found a dream. And that's little Bram playing his, his Super Mario video game, just so you guys know in the background. Oh, God. Transfers? Yeah. I love it. I love it. Good. Please tell me it's available. I can use these are in alphabetical order. I think so. Okay, almost there. Womp womp. Guess what we're changing to, guys? <laughs> we're going to do a transfer that's in stock. We are selling out of everything. It's so crazy good. But it also makes it a severe sense of urgency. So if you are not getting things that you want, we, you know, we, we want to make sure that we, we do get you what you want. So Which one's that? being grateful for what you have makes what you have enough. That is literally going to just fit. So we, uh, that is still in stock. Thank goodness. Okay. So we've got being grateful for what we have makes what we have enough. Actually, actually, can I do that? Can I turn this sideways and make the flowers? Oh, we may have just hit the jackpot and put the flowers like this. I think that'll be great. Hi, Margie. You think that'll be good? Yeah. I think that could be a winner. Okay, that's what we're going to do. And I will just take the little hooky off and move it over to the center here, which is no big deal. That's that's the easy part, guys. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and get this on. So this is the Being Grateful Transfer. It is in stock. So if you love this project, run right over to my online store. It is the pin post and grab yours. <coughs> I'm so sorry. Hi, Margie. I don't know if I said hi to you. I can't remember. I'm going to be completely honest. So our transfers, as you guys know, are reusable. Or if this is your first time tuning in to me, maybe you don't know. They are reusable. Um, they are reusable over and over and over again. So you want to make sure before you start using your transfer, you write the word back on the back of the carrier sheet. And the reason is so that way you pick the right side, which would be a glossy side, for the transfer to stick to. Okay. So, as, if you have not watched me before, I always, when I have a transfer that's large, like one of the $17.99 and above sizes, 
Um, I always peel the carrier sheet off from the transfer, not the transfer from the carrier sheet, because I found that it A, does not stick to itself, and B, I'm not stretching the transfer, okay? So, <clears throat> now I am hoping that due to the way the wood goes, that this will be, this will not um, come out funny, if you, you get what I'm saying, like, uh, because of the, the, the divots. So I think that's pretty centered, if you ask me. Looks pretty good. Um, what I think would look awesome, Ka, yeah. do you agree? That if I do being for what we have makes what we have and plum and grateful and enough, we'll do in another color, maybe the evergreen. Do you think that would look pretty? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hi, Joanne. Hi, Venice. Hi, Wendy. Yay. I'm so glad you got that transfer, Rachel. It's an awesome one, isn't it? All right, guys. So you know what? We're going to use the plum and the evergreen to do this. And what I'm going to do is grateful and enough and evergreen and being for what we have makes what we have in the plum. Oh, I think that's going to look beautiful. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, these are our chalk pastes. As I said, this is part of the Rocktober bundle. They are two ounce containers. And before you say two ounces, two ounces goes a long way, guys. Hi, Tammy. Yes, Linda, I'm glad because this one is such a gorgeous saying. Okay. Now, what we want to do is we want to make sure our chalk paste is a Greek yogurt-like consistency. And as I was saying, it may seem like two ounces isn't a lot, but it really goes a long way because the excess that you have on your transfer, you're going to scoop right back into your container. Okay? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with one of our squeegees. This is actually a small squeegee, and all I did was I cut it in half, so I had two pieces to work with. Okay, so I'm going to dip the, this squeegee into the color and I'm going to get started on pulling my color down. So I'm going to just stick it on and start pulling down. And I'm not going to wipe any of the excess off yet. I'm going to get it all covered and then I'll come back. Um, all of the plum, I should say, covered. And then I'll come back and wipe off any excess. Now I can't be messy Jesse tonight, okay, because, <laughs> you like that, Bubba's? I can't be messy Jesse. I gotta take my time, get it on. I was thinking this word, here we go. And you see how nice the plum pulls? Oh, I love it. And please don't mind my, my sniffing. Um, after my clumsy ox incident yesterday, I can't stop um, with like running nose, which probably is because I jacked up my nose. But that's all right, <laughs> we'll make do, right? As long as you guys don't mind it, I don't mind it. Who doesn't mind it? Mom doesn't mind it. Mom doesn't mind it. Mom doesn't mind it. Okay, so I'm just going to get all my excess and put it right back into my container. Like I said, we want to save. That's why our two ounces goes a long way. We want to make sure we don't have any lines. Okay. So now I want to really work quickly with the evergreen. Hi, Kayla. Hi, Tanya. Oh, purple and mustard. I could have done purple and mustard. Um, ooh, do you think did you do? I didn't do the evergreen? Should I go the mustard? I'll go mustard for a viewer decision. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. All right. So let's move quickly so that way my, my evergreen, I mean, my plum doesn't dry. Okay. And I should have stirred this, and I didn't. And, and because I'm at the bottom of the barrel here with my my mustard, it's a little bit thicker, which means it'll dry a little bit quicker. So I really got to move quickly. should have used a bigger squeegee for this part. I always do that. Because of the divots, it's a little, a little hard to get the color in. Thank God I have another mustard because I'm going to be sad when this goes. I 
And what I may do, just to be sure, guys, I may put a little bit of a paper towel over this, a damn paper towel, because, oh, shoot, I wiped some of the plum into it. Hold on, let me clean my squeegee off. And of course, my bum eye here is starting to tear. That's awesome. <laughs> oh. Okay, so yeah, let's definitely get a paper towel. We're gonna do a damp paper towel just to make sure that all is good with this. All I'm doing is spraying my paper towel with some water. And I'm gonna, oh my goodness. I'm a mess. <laughs> all righty. So let's just make sure it's nice and moist still. That's what you want to do when you're taking a little bit of extra time to work with it. You don't want to make it soaked, but a little bit damp is not going to hurt it, okay? All right, so let's see how this turns out. Hi, Ken Hess. Hi, Alicia. Hello. Can you add water to the paste if it gets too thick? Absolutely. You absolutely can. Okay. Now, keep in mind that it's because it's on the uneven wood that that is why it came out a little bit like that, but I really like it. It's got that distressed look to it. Kyle, can I ask you a huge favor? Mm -hmm. The water is over on that side. Okay, so I really like that. Now, let's close up our chalk pastes. Okay. And we're going to get started with our little mason jar. Okay this out of the way bye 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 <laughs> okay so this is gonna be the fun part I'm pretty I'm actually really excited to, to try this because like I said I've never done it before so oops, we got chalk bugs all over us now let's go ahead and get that little like I said that little C I think it's called a C hook oh wait I have it I have a title of it it's called a cup hook okay and I'm gonna just kind of go a little bit lower because I don't want my flowers to cover up my words, right? Hey, Kristen. Okay, and I'm gonna kind of guesstimate the middle. I'm gonna go about, right about there. And because the wood is not like crazy tough wood, whoops, I can just start screwing in. I just gotta push the screw a little bit. And now I, I literally tested this a little while ago. There it goes. And it was going in for me. I'm going to use something to grasp it, though, because it hurts my fingers. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. There it goes. There it goes. Now we can just twist in. See how easy that was? Yay! Keep on going, hook. Ooh, I got tight. Almost in. And we're in. Okay, so we got our little hook. Hopefully you guys can see. We move the chalk piece out of the way. So I can push the frame back. Okay, there we go. Now we're all in, in vision here. Okay, so remember that mason jar I painted? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get my sanding block and I'm just gonna sand a little bit over it, okay? Just a little bit over where like the image is. Just to make it look like kind of rustic-y. And if some of the excess paint comes off, it's not a big deal. If you have some chunks, no biggie. Just scruff it up a little bit, right? Okay, so I just kind of scuffed mine up. I like the way that looks. It looks very cool. Okay, so we got that. Now, let's get our jute. We're going to wrap around a few times, okay? Let's find out how we even get to the beginning of it. Where's the beginning? 
Really? Who's got the other end? Where's the beginning? Let's play a game. Where's the beginning call? <laughs> I would think it's this because of the way it wraps, but where's it go? It's not tucked in. Oh, it's tucked in pretty good. Well, are you able to pull it up or not? <clears throat> really? No. I'm going to be defeated by the jute tonight? Defeated by the radiator yesterday. Oh. And now the jute tonight. All right. Well, guess what? We're going to just probably <laughs> just make cut. our own. Yeah. Here it goes. Bye. I found it. Go. Yay. Okay. So let's go ahead. Get this started. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it around a bunch of times. Okay. I'm going to just wrap it around the mason jar. wrap around a bit. I want to make sure that this, oops, that this stays in. Hold on, Bob. No, baby, not tonight. Oh, maybe next door. Okay, so we got enough, I think, enough of this on here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to kind of make a loop, if you will. What I probably should have done, which would have made more sense, is maybe tied together the two edges. So I had a little something, but that's okay. We're gonna we're gonna go with this. We're gonna go with this. Oh, I'm just gonna tie. I'm gonna cut off. And what I could do is hot glue it together there. I'll put some hot glue which my hot glue gun was on earlier. I wonder if it's too hot. No, it is not. Okay, so I will come back after I show you guys how I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna hot glue it, and I'm just gonna tie it into a little knot here. And we're gonna go from there. And then once that's on and hot glued, oops. Susan Tapley, I'm doing your project. Okay, then my flowers will fit in here. See? Hopefully it's not covering everything up. Hi, Sherry. I am feeling better. I am just very sore, okay? I am super sore, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. So, I'm gonna just take it and dangle that a little bit more. <coughs> Sorry about that, didn't mean to cough. Okay, let's get the hot glue gun plugged in real quick. It doesn't take too long. We're gonna hot glue this puppy. It'll heat up quickly. I promise, it's the ultimate glue gun. It heats up pretty quick. So, just let that puppy go for a second. And then we're going to have our little jute piece on here. Yay! I'll hot glue that on, I'll hot glue that on, and then we've got our jar. Whoops. It's going to be so cute. Yes, tight around the neck of the jar. Just tie tight, really? Okay, well, I will do that then. What did you do? Did you do it like this, Susan? Did you just put it in the center? Let's untie our little knot here. Let's take that off, actually. Put it in the center. Just keep wrapping until it goes around and around. 
think this is way too long, so we might have to do something about that. It's going to take me nine years. Does it start with eight inches? Um, I have about 47. <laughs> she says start with eight inches. Where were you at five minutes ago? Okay, so we got eight inches. All right. That's your wipes. My wipes? Yeah. Oh, in the car. Just leave them. It's all right. Just leave them out there. It's good. I got a few on here. No. Okay. Start with about eight inches like this. Just wrap. I'm about to invite Susan. Oh, I can't invite her in. Womp womp. Eight inch hanging before you start wrapping. What? Uh, oh, so just tie a loop. Just make a knot with a loop. Okay, let's see. Don't you love how this is live? That's what I get. Okay, so I tied a tight loop. And then I tie it around? That makes sense. We've got to talk. I know, clearly. I don't know what I'm doing here. Let's see if I can invite Susan in. How about live? Put your finger in and then wrap it, and then the little gap when you take your finger out should be enough of a hook. Maybe. I don't know what she's talking about. Hold out about eight inches. All right, Susan, we're doing that. Don't you love how we have you on, um, you know what? I might have to FaceTime you on my iPad. Hold out about eight inches. Well, it's a little more than eight inches, but we got eight inches. We're doing this live tonight. Okay. I got it. What do I do next? <laughs> I was going to hot glue it, and it would I think it would have been fine. Okay, go ahead. Now start wrapping the long length around about three times around the jar. Okay. One, it's not going through. Two, three. Okay, I did three. Should I tie the two pieces together? Okay. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Nicole. Now tie the first eight inches to what's left. No, I don't get it. What? What's left? There's nothing left. I have to untie it to get to the loop. I mean, to get to that. I think I'm going to just hot glue it. <laughs> so I tied it, but what do I do now? It's like a barely a tie. <laughs> This is awesome that we're live doing this. Yay! Have <laughs> your assistant FaceTime me. <coughs> I'm doing it right now. And you're going to make an appearance in my live. The only problem is, Colleen, can I ask you to go on and do some um, commentary for me? Guys, hold on a second. We're, uh, we're going to have some, some technical difficulties for a hot minute here. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, just go into my live. Or you're, I tagged you in it, so you should be in it too. Susan, I am. Um, I'm FaceTiming you from Messenger. Since my iPad is my, my hidden name. Connecting, ringing. I like how I'm your assistant. <laughs> my assistant. <laughs> oh, that's great. There you are. Hi. <laughs> so you're, you're officially in my live video, girlfriend. Show me what I'm doing. Okay. We're going to pretend this is the jar. Okay. Okay. So you're going to leave about that much. And you're just going to wrap the long part here around about three times. So I was right. I had about 50 inches. <laughs> so you're just going to knot this part real tight. Okay, wait. So hold on. Support, so I don't want to tie it too tight. 
Okay, wait. So hold on. I'm taking my my eight inches and I'm leaving about eight inches. That makes so much more sense. Okay. Yep. Hey, you'll tonight. Black guys are all gone. Yeah. So, okay, so you're going to wrap that around a couple of times so it's nice and secure around the, the rim of the jar. Uh-huh. You're going to end up with something that looks like this. Yep. And then tie it. Cut into a neck real tight against the neck. Got it. Okay, and then you're, what's left, you're going to make another loop. So, your second. Yeah, so, so, yeah. Got yeah. it. So then, like, I'm going to stick my finger in that loop so that way I can make it a, a tight loop. A double knot. Yeah, double knot loop. You're going to tie it nice tight against the rim. Like that. With my hook? I'm touching it. Like, is it tight right here? Yes, it's tight. So then you're going to make another loop and tie that tight and then just hang it from the hook. Got it. Yay. You're the bestest. Hey. Yay, go team, go team. Hey, they have a beautiful catalog. Go team. <laughs> Goodbye. Cheers. Cheers. Bye. Bye. All right, guys. Technical difficulties averted. Yay, look at that. We got it now. Oh, how many people does it take to tie on a mason jar? Okay, who is it? Hello, Cassandra. Let's come back into the live now so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so we are back. Here we go. Now we have this done, and that is how it looks. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that, guys. Isn't that fun? Can you see it all? I wanted to show you. Thank you, Susan. I was just going to do it a way that required hot glue. But she gave us a way where we don't even need to have a glue gun. Yay! Way to go. Teamwork makes a dream work. So, that is the live tonight, guys. That shows you how to make a super cute little hanging mason jar sign with a fun saying of being grateful for what we have makes what we have enough. Thanks. Thanks, Susan. Teamwork. Yay! Hi, Debbie Clark. So, we've got this all done. We have our little mason jar. I'm going to unplug my phone and hold this up to you. Or I'm going to de... What am I trying to say? Hold on. <laughs> Good Lord. Good night. Okay, let's stand it up and I'll take my phone down. So that way you guys can see how this looks. Being grateful for what we have makes what we have enough. And there's the mason jar hanging. Hi, Tina. Isn't that adorable? Hold on, let's see if I do it like this. So you guys can see. I promise I won't get you. <laughs> All right, Colleen's gonna, hello! Okay, ready? Okay. Oh, it looks so pretty. Hi, Tina. I love the colors. Margie, good call to change it to the mustard and the plum. I was gonna do the plum and the evergreen, but I really like that. Look at it. Yay. Okay. Oops. Thank you, Tina. You're so cute. Here, Kyle, I'll take that back. Okay, so now we're back where I'm not going to hopefully make anybody dizzy. Thank you. So now if you want to purchase this awesome transfer, it is in stock in my online store. Jump in, grab it, make yourself a beautiful sign. Imagine hanging this in your dining room where you can have everything that you, I mean, when I think of going to my dining room, I think of my family, which makes me realize that that is the thing I am most grateful for. Um, it would be gorgeous to hang up when you have family over for a Thanksgiving dinner or to give to your the hostess that is doing Thanksgiving dinner. You always kind of want to come with something, and everybody always brings a dessert. Um, how nice would it be to come with this? Um, and it's a gift that they can keep forever and think of you every time they see it. So, we are all done for tonight. Stay tuned because Colleen's going to be doing a live. Um, I should probably just invite you in since we're both on here. Why do? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, we're gonna. she's just got to fix something real quick and then we're going to be going live. So, check her back in a little while. Um, my store is in the pinned comment of this, um, of the post. So, if you'd like to pick it up, you can go right to my online store. Hi, Jackie. You can go right to my online store and grab it. 
So thank you guys so much for watching. Have a happy Friday night. Also, thank you all for the well wishes um, for my clumsy self. I am going to get better. And as you heard Susan say that she noticed that my black eyes from this morning already went away. So we're good to go. Uh, so have a great night and I will see you tomorrow with another live. Bye.